And another casualty this year is the uh, preseason NFL Hall of Fame game, which has been canceled. Um, and with uh, apparently spikes of cases all around the country, uh, I'm asking the question, will there be an NFL? And uh, to join us, joining us right now to break that down, one of my favorites, Dr. Dennis Durrell is here. And uh, Doc, thanks for joining us again. I really appreciate it. And uh, before we tap into your vast wealth of wisdom, I want to remind our audience that uh, Dr. Durrell is a uh, award-winning author and uh, his, his book, Your Healthcare Playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine is out there and you got to go check it out. But, uh, so Doc, uh, Hall of Fame game is gone, um, but apparently the show must go on and NFL will play. Um, what, are the, what are the five things we got to watch out for in going to an NFL game? Well, I think, you know, first of all, when I wrote my book with the NFL, I met Roger Goodell. They were really good about facil facilitating me getting interviews with a lot of people, doctors in the NFL, players in the NFL, executives in the NFL. And when I interviewed Rich McKay, the president of Falcons, uh, you know, it was fascinating. He said, you know, when we move lunch from 1215 to 1230, everyone in our organization gets an email. So the point of that is that unlike healthcare, the NFL is highly detail regulated, oriented, regimented. And the new CMO, the chief medical officer is a neurosurgeon from Vanderbilt. I, I'm here in Nashville. So uh, he's a very com uh, competent guy and, and they all feel um, from the executives to the doctors that they're gonna have a testing regimen, a rigid protocol and they're going to adhere to all of the public health uh, edicts in all the different uh, states and that they're going to be able to have football. But we are going to have some changes. Uh, I think that fans will still be in the stadium. They're not going to be close to the field. So they will be, you know, at least six rows back. And I think they will be reduced capacity. So maybe at 50 percent, maybe at 60 percent with spacing in between. And then you'll have fans that have season tickets. They'll have to rotate which games they can go to. They won't be able to go to every game. And certainly they're going to do away with some of the preseason games, which uh, they should anyway. Yeah, I think the Players Association has been uh, battling for years for less preseason games because they don't want yeah. the wear and tear on their players. So COVID yeah. may have uh, actually helped the NFLPA on that one. And, you know, it helped yeah. a couple other things too, Doc. I was talking to my kids um, my two daughters, Victoria and Ava, one's a senior in college, one just graduated high school, my son's a freshman in high school, and I said, kids, you know, do you guys enjoy staying home and doing school from home and everything? And unanimously, all three kids said, Daddy, I want to go back to school. So yeah. we may have remedied another age-old problem through COVID. Kids want to go to school now. It's crazy, but they're so slap-happy, they don't even want to be locked in the house anymore. They'd rather go to actually school. And, you know, another yeah. thing, um, my son, 14, they don't, they don't know, how, uh, you know how old your kids are, but, you know, their uh, kids are of very few actual spoken words these days. You know, they can text you for an hour. But um, I said, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm really for um, in-person learning, and I feel like, you know, we should figure out how to do it and get the teachers in front of the kids, keep them engaged. So I've been trying to fight for, you know, with, along with parents against distance learning here in New York, right? And I said to my son, you know, I'm ranting and raving every day about this, you know, going back to school because you told me you want to go back to school. But are you really, are you doing better or worse? He said, Dad, go on TV and tell them I'm getting dumber. And that's like, you know, coming from a kid, like he's saying, hey, we don't have any attention span. We can have a, you know, they give us a workload for the day. We can Google everything and we can text each other. And as long as we change the words around, we're not cheating. It's like... You know, kids are recognizing that this is a good for them. Yes. Well, you know, one of the reasons I wrote a book about the NFL and healthcare was that teams are the future of healthcare. And if you don't know how to work on a team, you're not going to succeed in healthcare today. And I would say that's pretty true in business. And so you can't learn as a team di from a distance. There's something about being there and grouping up into smaller groups and then attacking a problem and working on projects, that's very hard to do virtually. So 
you know, I think we'll have most places, not all in the U.S., will probably have school in the fall in person. Well, let's hope on that. You know, um, my dad was the president of our local Little League. He was also the president of our local Pee Wee Football League. And he always used to say to me, um, before he passed, he used to say, John, commun- uh, youth sports is the best thing you could do for kids. Even if they don't want to get there, get them there. Being part of a team teaches them so much in life. And he always used to say, you know, you could build a lot of character through team sports and kids because they know what they can rely on. Some, they know what someone else is relying on them for. There's a lot of different socioeconomic things. And... Uh, yeah, I, I think even the fact that here in New York they're allowing kids to play sports again is probably a really good sign mentally and physically for these kids, right? I think it's so important. Um, I'll give you an example. You know, some doctors did not play team sports, and I don't think it has to be a sport. It could be being in the band. It could be in a club, yeah. you know, whatever. But but I, I think here's my point. You know, I was talking to one of our, we have doctors in 19 states, 2,000 doctors. I was meeting with some of my doctors the other day, and one of the doctors said, no, I don't rely on my partners for anything. I said, well, that's a problem. I said, that's a team. You do rely on each other. And so some of the foundational principles of a team, doctors that haven't been on teams don't understand, and it seems foreign, but you've got to explain that to them. And and team concepts should be embedded in what we learn from a young age, and they will benefit everyone throughout life. So if you want to win the game of modern medicine, you got to go out and get Dr. Durrell's book, your healthcare playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine. He wrote it with the NFL. Um, any things we need to know about uh, as football fans in our final minute here, um, what are you hearing from your contacts at the NFL, the protocols and special guidelines that fans are going to have to know about? Yeah, I, I think that fans will, um, they're probably going to have to wear masks. And you could imagine the NFL would, again, I don't have a, a source that have said anything about this, but you could imagine them handing out like they do the whiteout jerseys and everything. So they'll probably hand out masks. And I think we're going to have to wear masks. I think we're going to have to space. Um, but uh, I think we will have fans and I think we will have the NFL. Uh, I think also... The, you know, when I was writing my book, I got to look at the 49er stadium before it was open and you can order food from your seat via wireless. So I think we may do they may do some things to reduce lines and spacing for uh, food and for restrooms as well. Tremendous. Thank you very much. It's going to be difficult to have a hot dog and a beer with the mask on, but I guess we'll figure that out next. But uh, <laughs> all right, Doc, we got to leave it there. Thank you so much. Please join us again soon. Dr. Dennis Durrell author of your healthcare playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to take a quick break right here. I'm going to slug down the rest of this white claw, and we're going to come back with more liquid lunch for you right after this.